Hey, beautiful souls. This is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new. And a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, today I am joined by my dear friend and client Shar from ASMR Shar Positive Energy. We are going to do a summer solstice and full moon video for you. But before we get into this video, Shar, tell us more about your YouTube channels and what you do. Hey, Katie, and thank you for having me, by the way. Um, yeah, so I have two main YouTube channels right now, ASMR Star Positive Energy, which has a bunch of, just a variety of um, uplifting vibes, Reiki, I am Reiki One certified, um, doing stuff with nature, crystals, card readings, um, I, uh, affirmations, anything that will help uplift your vibes or maybe give sort of a, a positive guidance in your life. Um, and then my other channel is ASMR Shar Relaxing Role Plays More, and that's solely ASMR on that channel, um, doing ASMR role plays or just straight up ASMR triggers um, just to help relax. Um, and yeah, and I just, I also do offer per, uh personalized card readings if you're ever interested um you can you know check out my channel to to do that and those are pre-recorded so yeah awesome thank you so much Shar. yes Shar has amazing content she is excellent her card readings her asmr and her reiki healing she has amazing beautiful energy i highly recommend you know uh Shar has done Reiki on me and I definitely feel it very strongly. And it's got such a comforting vibe. Like her energy is just so gentle. It's awesome. And her card readings are always spot on. They're always spot on with what I'm going through. And just be sure to subscribe to her channels and give her love and support. I will link her channels below and at the end of this video. Thank so you. <laughs> you're welcome. And so today we're going to be talking about the summer solstice. We have this beautiful summertime energy, blessings, abundance, good vibrations, and full moon as well. So the energies are kind of intense right now. Emotions are a little high. If you're having trouble sleeping, it's because of full moon and solstice energy combined. Shar, what are you picking up on energetically with these two energies? Yeah, again, like, like you're right, there is a lot of sort of intense energy, which can be, you know, make it hard to sleep. I've definitely been having a lot of trouble sleeping lately. Um, and I'm getting, I just got a whole like image of like, hey, if you can't sleep, embrace it. If you can get outside under the full moon and like touch a tree, dance around. I just had this image of like a midsummer like fairy kind of circle thing. So if you can't sleep, get out under the moon if you can, even if it's 2 a.m., whatever, maybe, you know, it could be earlier than that. But um, just try to get out into the full moon and like connect with nature. Um, I think the summer solstice is a really good time to just, um, like you said, have that, it's like that sunny, it's a really, you know, the days are longer. So just enjoy that sun, that sun fire vibe. Um, fire element is like great for transmutation as well. So I think I'm getting a good sense of like maybe for some of you that kind of rising to the next level or transmuting into maybe more of your authentic self right now. Um, I feel like going out into nature as much as possible under the moon, under the sunlight, um, especially with the full moon, I'm just getting a really strong image of just go out under the full moon, try to soak in the moon energy, um, and like touch a tree if you can while you're doing that, or just be on the grass, just really soaking in that energy, um, to help for any like transformations, you know, for spiritual, spiritual growth, grounding, and just bringing that joy, that summer joy. So I love that, Char. Wow. Thank you for sharing all that. I needed to be reminded to ground more, get outside of nature more. And, you know, we always talk about soaking up the sun and being under the sun, but very seldom do we talk about soaking up the lunar energy under the moon at night. I think that is so important to harness that energy. And mm -hmm. it's also fun to charge your crystals and some moon water. If you have like a bottle of water under the moon, charge it and then drink it. 
Yep. I was just thinking that exact thing, Katie. Secret, secret. <laughs> That's awesome. The moon water. That is yeah. so cool. Yes. So let's uh, embrace nature, reconnect with Mother Earth, take advantage of that strong lunar energy as well as the solar energy. And, you know, I've done research on this and the sun, I believe, represents the divine masculine and the moon, the divine feminine. So if we can uh, connect with both aspects, that's going to help us to have more balance and synergy in our everyday lives. I love that. That's so true, actually. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Just having that balance and that embracing both sun and moon, masculine and feminine, feminine energy. Absolutely. So with that said, we're going to take a few deep breaths. And Char has an amazing mermaid pen that is wonderful. And I love it. <laughs> yeah. Show them your mermaid pen. It's a very, it's got a little wobble, a little sparkle and some very pretty aqua fluffy. And it makes maybe a little noise. Yeah. <laughs> my I mom love that. gives this work to me and my yeah. daughter. <laughs> I love it though, to remind us to connect with that water element during summer. It's so important to connect with water whether that be a pool, a river, a stream, a lake, and to connect with our inner child and just have joy and fun. Exactly. So we're going to take a few deep breaths and you can kind of meditate on Shar's mermaid vibes. <laughs> and we'll take a few deep breaths. Breathe in positivity, love and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out, release all negativity from your day at this time. Breathe in positivity, love and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out, release all negativity from your day at this time. Just relax, let go and surrender to the flow. Just relax, let go, and surrender to the flow. Releasing all negativity at this time. Letting it all go, letting it all go, letting it all go. Surrendering to the present moment right here, right now. Trusting that all is well, all is well, all is well. You are safe. You are loved and you are appreciated. One more deep breath. Breathe in positivity, love and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release any remaining negativity that may be in your space at this time. Okay, now Shar and I are going to hold up some crystals and send you crystal infused Reiki energy healing. Shar, what crystals do you have? Well, actually, um, based on the sun and moon energy you were talking about, I have this uh, citrine. It's raw citrine, which is a beautiful sunny energy, lots of joy, vibrancy. And I was singing for moon energy, actually, the selenite. Celine for the moon is actually a very um, beautiful, gentle moon energy. And I also, after I show those, I'm going to show this, um, send some frequency of the celestite, which is all about like the sort of beautiful blue sky, the heavenly angel. It's very helpful with connecting to your angel guides and spirits and just that beautiful blue for water and sky. I love that. And yeah, I also have three crystals as well. I have a sunstone for that sun, solar energy, divine masculine principle, and a moonstone organite uh, for the lunar feminine energies and a honey calcite to help with alleviating any anxiety from heightened emotions. 
from all this intense energy. So these are the crystals I'll be working with. And so Shar and I are going to be just basically sending you crystal infused Reiki energy healing at this time together with the intention of helping you to just be feeling a sense of peace, serenity, calm, assuredness that all is well, and to bring in good health, prosperity, blessings, abundance, and just once again, a sense of peace and alleviate any anxiety that you may be experiencing at this time. And Shar, if you want to uh, start us off. Thank you. I'm just going to do a quick little cleanse of the cellulite. Mm -hmm. Just try to um, relax and, and be receptive as much as you can to this Reiki energy from both of us. I'm going to kind of send both sun and moon energy. Balance that yin and yin. Yes, and I have a sunstone and moonstone crystals to balance that masculine and feminine energy. And I'm just going to sing a little light language. Iliokashima, 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 Eho, Iliokashima, 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 Eho, Oh, 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 Sending you light, sending you healing. I'm going to hold the Celestite now, too, to give some of that angel energy. Sending you beautiful angel energy. And know that your angels are always protecting you and keeping you safe. I'm getting a sense of um, Archangel Gabriel is with us maybe. Beautiful soul, just know you are safe, you are loved, and you are appreciated. And like Shar said, you are surrounded by angels. There's nothing to fear.
I love the energy from that, Katie. The honey, honey calcite. Yeah. It's very um yeah, helping lower anxiety. I can feel the the energy from that for sure. Yeah, this is one of the very first crystals I ever got when I um was in my late teens, early twenties, and I believe my dad got this for me when he knew I was struggling with anxiety in college oh. and he sent this to me. So it's one of my first crystals. Oh, and it has that a special like connection with your dad. Yeah. That's so sweet giving it to you for that. Oh, I love it. And I love that celestite. Celestite helps us to connect with our angels and the higher realms. Exactly. It's got that summer sky blue kind of <laughs> celestial. <laughs> so beautiful soul. Hopefully you're feeling more relaxed and at ease. I know that I'm feeling a deep sense of peace right now. Me too, me too. <laughs> and I have these flowers to bring in that summer solstice energy. Oh, those are beautiful. And these were made by my dear friend, Jeannie. She uh, has a company called Making Things Pretty. It's like her own business and she makes beautiful like little flower arrangements and wreaths. She's amazing. Oh, those are beautiful, yeah. I just love all the summer colors. So that very joyous, yeah, summer vibrancy colors. I love it. I know. I love it too. It's amazing. This is a time of joy. We need to do more things we enjoy doing and have more fun and lighten up and stop working so hard. <laughs> exactly. Get in touch with your inner child. Do, go do something fun. Blow some bubbles outside or something. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, Char, do you want to pull a couple of cards for us? Um, yeah, actually, I have to go along with the ocean, ocean mermaid theme. I have mermaid oceanic, vibes. Yeah, I've got some good mermaid vibes, oceanic tarot, my mermaid deck. Um, and this is for, you know, the collective so take what resonates and leave the rest There's some summer mermaid energy messages for whoever's watching at this time and okay. I'll use my little magnifying glass to see if king of Pentacles, which I know is very uh, earthly realm energy, abundance energy, trust. Okay, so I have two cards. King of Pentacles for trust. I'm getting like a trust your intuition, like maybe use this time to get in touch with your with nature, your inner child, and trust the abundance. Oh, there's some sea turtles there too. Trust it, abundance. So pentacles is all about like abundance. Um, and that could be of health, anything in the physical realm. It could be money, but it could also be health, friendships, um, having a beautiful home, um, abundance of love. And just I'm I'm having a sense of like just trust that even if it doesn't feel like it right now, that abundance is coming. Um Maybe even having a sort of gratitude thing, like, you know, you have an, all that you need in this world. Um, sort of that attitude of gratitude. And that can also help uh, spur abundance on, you know, just being grateful for what you have, having aspirations and dreams, but also being grateful for where you are right now and and trusting that it will come. <laughs> 
And then the another card, the other card that came out. Okay, Ten of Wands. Responsibility. Ooh, interesting. And that is a seahorse, I think, there. So Ten of Wands, Responsibility. I believe wand energy is like fiery energy. So we got like the fire spirit and... um. I keep I hearing responding to your ability. I keep hearing responding to your ability, responsibility. Oh, interesting. Responding to your ability. Oh, I like that, Katie. Oh, my gosh. Responding to your ability. And that kind of goes with the intuition, like, like being aware of your abilities, being trusting your abilities and kind of responding to that in a way, like responding as in like connecting, communicate with it and trusting and responding to your abilities that know that you have all that you need inside of you. I know one spirit is very, um, just like knowing that you have everything inside, like you're, you're magical, <laughs> you're magical basically. And I'm also getting a sense of like, maybe some of you are taking on too much responsibility and need to pull back from that and go out and have fun like Katie was saying like you were saying um don't work so so darn hard all the time like pull it back go have fun in the summer and like maybe maybe letting go of some responsibilities maybe you've taken on too much um yeah <laughs> yeah I love that thank you um Char that definitely resonated definitely yeah I think we all need to lighten up and just have more fun and just stop taking everything so seriously. I think a lot of us can get caught up in the ways of this world and, you know, always feel like we have to do something or accomplish something more when really we're worthy of love just for being us just sitting here in the present moment. We don't have to do anything or work hard or make a certain amount of money to be loved or to be, uh, what is the word? Successful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just you existing is like, like your energy is going into the world, into the universe. And that itself is so worthwhile and beautiful. And just that in a way is like even better than being overproductive because, you know, <laughs> you can yeah. really just let your true self shine if you're not, you know, if you're overstressed or over anxious or doing too much, it's hard to let yourself glow and let your energy, you know, go into the world. So. Exactly. And with that said, I have a new card deck and I'm going to draw a couple of cards. It's called You Are a Bad A mm -hmm. by Jen Sincero is the name of the card deck. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple of cards from this deck to see what we need to know for some personal empowerment. Does everybody need to know for everyone's highest and greatest good? Okay. We must focus on the positive instead of a list of negatives that we have collected over time and keep that focus regardless of what flies in our faces. So I'm going to read that again. We must focus on the positive instead of the list of negatives that we have collected over time and keep that focus regardless of what flies in our faces. So what we focus on grows. What we focus on grows stronger and stronger and stronger. So every day, everybody, every one of us is faced with positive and negative things that happen in life every single day. So let us all make a conscious decision to focus on the positives more so than the negatives so that we can be happy, joyous, and free, so that we can live in gratitude, so that we can allow more blessings to come into our everyday lives, knowing it's also okay to receive support from others and be grateful for that support just as we give support to others freely, okay? So yeah, it is so important that... We focus on what is going right versus what isn't going right. And the good stuff will amplify. But if we focus on the bad stuff too heavily, then that's going to amplify. So let's make a conscious decision to focus on the things that are going right and have a gratitude list going every day. Write three to five things you're grateful for every day. What I do is sometimes text myself in the morning. That sounds kind of weird, but 
<laughs> I'll text myself a gratitude list. Like I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. Not to remind myself or I'll write it down in a journal as well. But if I'm really in a rush, I'll do it on my phone and text it. And sometimes I'll text it to a friend and say, what are you grateful for today? This is what I'm grateful for and get some gratitude going and kind of share it with your friends. I love that. I love that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and do you ever do gratitude list, Char? I do, but I haven't. Honestly, it's been a long time since I've really written it out or text. I love that texting to myself kind of thing. Because if you're out and about and you don't have a pen and paper, text it to yourself. Yes. Or just say it aloud. Or like you said, like, um, and I feel like, yeah, like, I'm trying to think of, like, maybe try to list in the comments, guys, like, one thing you're grateful for. Um I'm grateful for the sun and the moon and this beautiful energy. <laughs> I love that. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to connect with you, Shar. Even though we live in different states, we can connect on Zoom. And I'm so grateful for that because your energy is beautiful and you've been a huge blessing in my life. Oh, thank you, Katie. I'm grateful for you too, for sure. I can't, yeah. It's, it's been amazing to connect with you <laughs> through we have never met in person, but someday soon. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Oh, we're for you. going to. It's going to happen. We are. And, and we're going to do a video together in person. So be prepared because it's going to yeah. be awesome. The energy is going to be like, woo. <laughs> and Not it's funny because, because <laughs> yeah, and the next card that came out is perfect with this. It says, act as if, act as if it's already here. Act as if you've already manifested what you desire. And it says, if you want something badly, even if you don't have any evidence that it's possible for you to attain, believe it anyway. Fake it until you make it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell mm -hmm. yourself it's happening. Act like it's happening. Put yourself in situations where you will meet people who can make this happen. Stay wide open to opportunities that can lead you to your goal. Live, eat, sleep, and breathe your vision. See it, mm. feel it taste it fall in love with it believe it is already here oh oh I love that <laughs> oh my gosh yeah so just acting as if it's already here and you know sometimes what I'll do is if there's something I really desire uh I've done this before and I think I'm going to start doing it again like I don't know let's just say I want to manifest a mermaid pen like Char she has an amazing mermaid pen I'm going to say I do I do. Thank you universe so much for the mermaid pen that you gifted me today. And I'm going to write that down in a journal pen to paper. Thank you so much universe for the new mermaid pen gift. The Thank you so much universe for the mermaid pen gift. And I'm going to write it down and act as if I've already received it. Mm -hmm. I've done this in the past and I've actually received gifts that I've written down within about a month time frame later. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I got to share that too. I, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, try it. This was something small at first to kind of yeah. see, you know, like, oh my gosh, thank you, universe, for the free coffee that I received today or latte. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and you just never know through people's random acts of kindness what you're going to receive as gifts. And we mm -hmm. have to allow ourselves to receive and know we're worthy of receiving good things too. I love that. I absolutely love that. And I was just, for me, like when you said that, like really feel it, believe it, taste it, touch it, um, act as if it's already true. I'm an aspiring, I mean, I, I'm a writer as well of fiction, but I want to get my own stuff published. And I've been going to Barnes and Noble a lot lately. I just, I'll go to, it's a YA young adult paranormal that I want to write. And I go to that section of Barnes and Noble. And I've done this several times actually where I'm, I'm like, oh, here's my book. It's not out yet, of course, but I just imagine my book actually being there and like showing it to someone or like, you know, you kind of act out a scene almost as so like actually happening. So that just came to mind. So if you have any dreams, any of you um, big or small, you know, just really try to get to like almost a role play of like the scene acted out. What would you say? What would you tell people about, you know, how would you, you know, converse about that? I love that. And when you do publish your first book, I want the first copy. <laughs> Oh, you're going to get it. You're, you're, it's all yours <laughs> for sure, Katie. It's going to be amazing. I think you should definitely do that, Char. Oh yeah. I'm visualizing. 
So yeah, beautiful soul, what are you grateful for today? Let us know in the comment section below. And what are some of your dreams, goals, and desires, okay? Just know that you are worthy of your dream life, okay? Act as if it's already here. And let Shar and I know, do you like these types of collab videos? Uh, would you like to see more of these types of videos? Let us know your feedback, okay? And just be gentle with yourself during this time, okay? Make sure you're getting plenty of rest. Make sure you're getting plenty of time outside in nature under the moon and under the sun. Be sure you're eating enough, drinking plenty of water, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. And <laughs> yes, and I'm going to drink some water too. And, you know, uh, be sure to check out Shar's YouTube channels because they are amazing. Subscribe, give her love and support. And Shar, did you want to say anything else before we wrap up? Um, actually, I, where is it? I forgot I had this one last little picture. And thank you so much, Katie, for having me on this on your collab. I love collabing with you. I love your energy. And I honestly feel so much I was tired and not energized before we started. And now I'm feeling peaceful but energized in a good way, you know. Um same here. So same here. <laughs> It's totally it. same here. I was feeling kind of, oh gosh, I can barely wake up and I needed like coffee and I was like, I'm going to need some more. And now I feel a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. So hopefully everyone watching feels the same. Like I'm sure you're getting some good energy. And then my friend actually gave me this. I was, it's this <gasps> picture of a fairy and it just oh. makes me think of midsummer, summer solstice, midsummer. I don't know how well you can see that. Like, that there. is so beautiful. Is the artist named Josephine something? I think so. It doesn't say on here. Uh, she has it framed for. <laughs> yeah, I but... think it's Josephine something because I've seen her art. It is beautiful. Yeah. And this always makes me think of like Midsummer Night's Dream or just like that beautiful going out at night and having like a fairy circle, communing with nature. I just felt like showing this as like a very. Um lunar energy for this one but again like i love that sort of getting out into the lunar energy the solar energy having that yin and yang feminine masculine um i think that's really what's um coming to my mind for this energy right now uh, that is beautiful yeah. i love that oh my gosh that is amazing totally thank you so much for sharing that so beautiful soul thank you so much for tuning in shar and i are both sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from us to you. May this Reiki energy healing and good vibes and positive energy be with you for the rest of the day, the rest of your week, and hopefully the rest of this year and going forward. And you can revisit this video as many times as you please, because time is an illusion and energy is fluid, right? So whenever this video resonates with you, feel free to watch it. And once again, peace, love, and light, and namaste, and much love. Namaste.